Hey folks, uh, I want to talk about something. Uh, I just found out that I was banned from the CG Talk forum. Uh, basically because somebody, I wrote a comment about um, the situation with Alex Lindsay and Nomina School. And everybody knows Alex has been a great contributor of the... Um, film industry and special effects industry he does Norman DVDs where he promotes several DVDs uh, gazillions of DVDs for over 10 years and uh, over 10 years and so most people in the industry has learned from his DVDs and he promote other artists he also started a school which uh, allows for uh, students to learn special effects. So it's exactly the kind of schooling, the kind of new edge, cutting edge schooling that is needed and the kind of schooling that wasn't available at, when I was teaching in um, a couple of colleges in New York that I didn't want to be there anymore because they weren't teaching the cutting edge marketable skills. And so Alex Le Lindsay teaches, uh, Alex, let's say Lindsay, that's a profit, right? Uh, Alex Alvarez t teaches the um, the uh, industry standard skills, and it's very, very, very up to date. And so, what happened was that he allowed uh, uh, some friends of his, because he has ties in the industry, he, they allowed him to. Um, uh, they asked him for some help with a like a movie, Green Lantern or Fuse or some 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 movies on television or some movies coming out. They needed a few weeks work and so he brought the work to the students so that they can learn and have real world experience. That's what it did. They, he did not go after the job. He wasn't competing for the job. They just asked them for help, you know, and said, could you have your students do this? And, and they were probably in a bind, so they probably couldn't help anyway. So he just helped them out. And so there was a pay for it, but when he went to try to pay the students, that his the school officer of the, of his school told him that he could not do it, was, it was illegal. So now he couldn't pay the students. That's usually not a big deal. Students usually don't get paid. Students are not interns. Interns have been selected by an employer to work in their office and allowed access to their office, their equipment, their environment, and represent that company and show up there every day and to work on work as you learn and gain experience to become a worker. It means that you're not qualified to be a worker yet. Now, students are not necessarily qualified to be interns. So these students are lower than interns. And interns don't get paid when they first start out, okay? So, so also, there is, when you understand art, there's, there's a journeyman, there's intern, apprentice, there's journeyman when you're working and when you're making money, and there's masterships. There's several levels. There's a hierarchy and an order to it. And so this is the bottom of the rent. This is below the bottom of the rent when you're a student. That doesn't even mean that you have talent. It means that you paid in, in the school. And then unless they actually, uh, you know, discriminate and, uh, you know, they have a screening process. If you can, you know, normally you submit your portfolio to even get in the school. So Alex Lindsay, then Alex Alvarez, Alex gave this, this, this uh, project to the students. Now they have no, they could never get the project on their own. They have no responsibility to get it done. And they have somebody helping them if something goes wrong. So they can't feel, I mean, the industry leader and the rent isn't contingent on it and nothing. They, their food, if they don't get the job done, nobody else is gonna come to them and say, how come you didn't do this? Or their, their career isn't marred or anything. You know, so this is just a student be having the grandest opportunity to work on a film when it takes years or sometimes, you know, you know, people would kill and die for an opportunity to work on these films. You know, you can't get into I, I probably can't get into not that I want to, but uh, I, there was probably a time if I understood the industry a little bit better. But I don't even think I understood the industry that that well. So anyway. So I posted something on the CG Talk general forum and, and was uh, 
and had a discussion about it. And so I responded, I said, you know what, I, I was happy to, to get involved in, in, in to, to do an internship. After I went to New York and came back, you know, uh, after I went to New York and came back, I actually did an internship after I had a corporate office in New York. Everything was, um, everything was cool, right? A corporate office, uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find this thing. I had a corporate office in New York and did an internship for a place in Buffalo, New York, where I did the Cupidron character. So I sat down and for the first time it put me in an environment where it was animation, it was good, I was other people, all kind of residual things happened. You know, I got to learn Maya, uh, some people helped me out with Maya and getting it running on my machine. It was just all these residual things, you know, and just the being in that groove, you know. And, and stuff like that. That's why I comrade now with uh, different people just to be in a groove of that. And that's why I have an artist group in which um, after this instance, I'm not gonna be, uh, you know, just I'm just gonna have a very controlled group that I'll be a part of. Uh, but anyway, um, so I posted something and all I said is that it's a great experience and it's a privilege to have that experience. And so you have these uh, arrogant artists nowadays that learn how to use a computer and stuff and they think that they need to get paid. Now people like that, they don't even understand in order to get work you have to do free work sometimes. In order to bid on a project, big companies do bids. And you know, the Asian and Indian market, they will bid on your job, do it for free and then take the business for the next several years. You know, and so they don't understand about the industry that, you know, when you work for a big corporation, big corporations make bids for projects and stuff like that. And they have all the reputation in the world. So all I said was, was uh, I did that. I, I, I did a free internship. Didn't say anything about Alex. I said how much of a privilege it was for me and how much it was a good thing for me. Here it is. I've done unpaid internship and after after I had a professional career, I did this. So these kids are students, college, young adults, doesn't even have have uh, uh, have that. And so I still did that. And that made all the difference to, and did Alex Lindsay's, uh, I keep saying Lindsay's, Alec, Alex Alvarez's um, uh, DVDs. And I have been able to get big projects employ people, you know, I'm not that I'm the big willer, or big baller, or big dealer, you know, but I've been able to do things that, you know, for this environment in Buffalo, it just generally doesn't happen unless you've got some other things going on, you know, without money, you know, so the nominal fee that I've had to pay for these DVDs totally were justified and I made money hands over fist, right? And even then, when I do get a project, I have made a decent amount of money more money than what some of these students would make, you know, in a year, you know. You know, I've handled some of these projects, you know, the big budgets, and I I, I pay people big money, you know. So, um, you know, that's not the case. And, and, and really, you know, when you divide it down and legal it all out, you know, first, you don't make big money in your first five years of business, period. You know, so, I mean, even if you do get a project, you're not, you know, you're paying for several years it took to, to actually get to that point, you know, uh, and not to mention the study and stuff. So, uh, so anyway, all I said was I've done an internship after, I've done an internship after a professional career, any student would jump at a chance to work for, for free on a feature film. Now, it's not work because you're actually getting something back. And it would be a privilege because most would never get to touch that kind of work on their own. None of them would ever be able to touch. You don't walk in without a resume, without a professional uh, career. I can't, as a business, go and take any job. As an independent contractor, I cannot take any job from any Hollywood studio because I don't have Hollywood experience. I have to develop my own. And I have to create good stuff on my own in order if I want to even think about that. So you still have to put in free work as an individual, right? So, um, even now, given the opportunity, I would do it. 
okay? It's a big win to get credit for that. And I, like I said, I did six months after a professional career in New York City. That quantified me. That, that, that qualified me, right? And under my link, I have several links to different um, um, forums and, 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 stuff, and, and, and stuff like that. Now, I'm complaining at CG Talk because this, this person who runs the forum is really, really, she, I, I can't knock her, okay? I don't have, I don't take it personally, but she's not really handling this situation well, and I'll tell you why, okay? The character in my avatar was a result of my first character design in, in an animation studio. Big privilege. I told only I didn't even mention Alex. Then said I said as me as a person, it has helped me bless. And guess what? And then somebody called Stank Love comes back and he says to say that it is a privilege to work on a feature film and worth the experience for free. Okay, marks you as an idiot. Okay. Now, I, didn't, I never read the rest of the post after that. And I basically said, any, and so I said this after that. You know, and, and it goes on, and, and, and I, but I did jump down to the bottom. And the last thing that he said on the bottom of this long post where he rants and goes off on, on me is America's African-American slaves were cotton in terms. That's about as racist as you can and be, and really, I need to write this company. I got call it a, call it slaves interns and African American, and you know what? I think that sometimes they check my uh, see and can tell I'm black, and so that they'll say something racist. So to go in or to have that dismiss, have that much disrespect for African Americans who went through slavery and went through that vicious, uh, you know, disgrace. Uh, to quickly bring it up as just working free for three or four weeks, you know. And see, this is what I, why I complain about. So many groups are willing to jump on for their cause, and that's what I'm saying for every type of group that would who will have a cause and want to unjustify the uh, justify themselves. Um, they'll always jump on African Americans, you know. So uh, and 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 the slave <laughs> to internship, all right. So that's why I also did not dignify it. So uh, so th so then this is what I read. I, this is why I, I, I repeated it. Uh, to say that the privilege is uh, in a feature film, okay, marks you as an idiot. Uh, I read that much of your post calling someone that you don't know derogatory names on uh, over. The internet probably has a lot to do with why you are intimidated by college students trying to get a start in the industry. I can reasonably and logically expect the rest of your posts is a waste of time and full of the same baseless rhetoric. You have no understanding of, of basic netiquette. Netiquette, just basic netiquette, being kind and courteous. And I, I should read you uh, what they say about, you know, about before you post, think of other people's feelings, okay? This is their mantra for CG Talk, okay? And you have no basic understanding, uh, let alone the industry. And and you, you have some kind of personal problem which you should resolve alone by yourself without this public display of foolishness if you hope for anyone to take anything you have to say seriously. Obviously, he's talking to a simple-minded professional. I'm professional, and I don't talk to people with your lack of candor, class, or cooth. You, uh, you should be flagged if, if, you, uh, if you start out any posts as you did here, okay? Typing from a computer from home does not give you the right to say things that say things to someone face, that you wouldn't say to someone's face without expecting a punch in the nose. Again, whatever you wrote was a waste of your own time. So they banned me. Okay, we went on, uh, and somebody said, somebody immediately said, and other people agreed with me. 
And somebody immediately said, wow, okay, let's get perspective. First, there's a big difference between choosing to perform a task with, without getting paid for their own, on their own violation uh, and someone literally being considered the property of another. The matter of the freedom to leave the situation, uh, the former has a, the freedom to leave the situation at any time, whereas the latter would have been killed or doing for doing the same. It's amazing. It's amazing that this guy, and then what gets me, this, this moderator, Leah, comes up and she said, okay, so then the guy corrects himself which is, is a trip. The guy corrects himself, right, immediately after after I, I went on and, and, and expressed, without any kind of verbal abuse or anything, I just expressed that this was just completely out of line. You know, all right, my desire for this industry and community to be professional and compliant with the law. Now, he says that after calling me an idiot. <laughs> you know, just straight up, wasn't even involved in it. All I did is got there and I said, Hey, I had an internship. I enjoyed it. It was a privilege. I gained from it. It was wonderful. And so he calls me an idiot after that, right? And so, so this is this is what. Uh, uh, so let me let me tell you. And and I know how the industry is. That is the problem. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, and, 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 don't listen to me, but check out this. And, and then he puts it. So, you know, it's hard to take anybody seriously if they're calling you. Uh, you go to somebody's advice or you go in there and say, look, you idiot. You know, it's like, you know, you got uh, yeah, an abusive parent or something. You know? I mean, really, you know, you, you don't do that to people. Okay. So then this is the real problem. All right. So the moderator says to me, now this is all that transpired. You can read the post. I'll put it there for yourself. This is what the, her name, I think it's a female. I don't know. I always thought it was a female. And it's from, and I, oh, no, Leah Van, I don't know if that's male or female. And it didn't matter to me. I always showed the person respect because I was in other forums. Now, mind you, I have a whole listing of forums where I help other forums and have been training people for seven years, uh, helping people. And I used to be a college professor, like I said. And so this is the attitude that the industry has. And this is the reason why I've left other groups. And so I'm not so concerned because every time I leave a group because of this situation, because uh, I always get blessed. So I, I know that there's a big blessing and this is drama that just comes. But this is what the moderator, the moderator who is supposed to say, hey, no calling anybody idiots. You know, that's not the basis of into, uh, intellectual conversation. We are artists and professionals. We work environment. And so basically that's all I said, you know? And so, uh, you know, and I, for some reason, they just don't get that. They don't understand that look, these, I could be your next boss. I could be your next playwright. I could write a hit and be on, on in Hollywood and have those industries and Alex Lindsay and everybody else working for me. It's possible, you know? Think about it, you know? So, uh, so this is what she wrote. I, I could assume she, but underneath it, she, the person has as their title, uh, pan galactic overlord. So the person is obviously power, power tripping, but she said, uh, I'll say she, okay. Uh, so it's a, uh, AVT pro instead of posting a rant in which you, it, uh, rather ironically insult Stan Lux. <laughs> I insult him, and he called it me an idiot, and I just posted about uh, uh, how uh, perhaps you should actually bother reading his posts. You know, uh, I, I don't see how you can say that he's known nothing of the industry because anybody in the industry knows how to respect somebody. So either if you're somewhere out out doing nothing. You, if you're industry, you're professional. Professionals don't call each other idiots. <laughs> Only unless you have a, a huge budget on the line and you messed up. And then you can call me an idiot, okay? Unless I'm messing up your 200 or a million dollar budget, you know? Um, okay. 
when you haven't even bothered the uh, frankly i also find it distasteful bordering on absurd that people post on this site saying that it's a privilege to work for free on a feature film <sighs> okay maybe maybe the fact that i've been an artist for 35 years maybe since i was uh 16 years old when i did an internship a real internship where I got paid half the price of a regular salary to work under a master artist who was also a college, uh, taught in the school system, ran his own business, ran his own business, a black entrepreneur in Buffalo when Buffalo was driving, and also did all the work in the city. Okay, I know what an internship was, and it was a privilege and an honor, and I was the only one of his, and there was only two. The other one was a lower intern than me, and he still treated me with the greatest amount of respect. It was an honor and a privilege. When they said his name, they and they talked, to, my name was affiliated with his name. To this day, I give him honor and respect, you know? I mean, he has books out and stuff like that. I'm still trying to be like him. Okay, so, uh, you know, and, and I got paid very minimal wages, but it was, I was learning to be an artist, so one day I could be, uh, I could make my own living or be great at it or whatever. So, um, so this, this it's so, so uh, this is distasteful to even have an opportunity. You know, even kids are happy to go into, to spend a day at a fire department. You know, <laughs> jeez. They look at the firemen as heroes, you know, or, or the policemen, you know. Uh, it's an honor to be called that for a day, even if you're not qualified, you know. There's just no respect, you know. Uh, uh, what a way to cheapen the value of artists. So I'm cheapening the value. So <laughs> putting in some, some free work, it means you're, and not getting paid means you're, you're cheap. Why the hell if you're an artist if you only do it for money? If you only do artwork for money, then you're not an artist. That cheapens an artist. Uh, I can, I can, I wish people would stop perpetuating these ideals around here. You know what? If you are secure as an artist, then doing some work, you know, the greatest. <laughs> so, we out of the world, Michael Jackson, doing, uh, and doing. at this point <laughs> because I don't have any I don't have I don't have my pants on so I don't want y'all to see my underwear Whew. so any artist that does free work is cheaping himself including Michael Jackson all the artists that come together and contribute to all the causes that when people are needy or in a situation you know uh, I, there's plenty of artists uh, and then somebody writes immediately after. I have to admit, after after idiot and jerk and, and no portfolio, I <laughs> and no portfolio. I stopped reading too. This is somebody else wrote that. So C G talk and L E I G H Leah the Overlord has banned me <laughs> because I have cheapened the artist by trying to explain to them uh, some ways to, uh, some theories about sacrifice, about sowing and reaping, and um, about how to, uh, how to actually be a benefit in America. Now, uh, America, maybe this problem. And then, <laughs> this, so, and then so, uh, uh, since why do artists need a portfolio? And so she goes on, <laughs> Did she really argue this point? So why, so since when do artists need a portfolio in order to be allowed to have an opinion? Oh my God. I don't know what happened to CG Talk. Recently, they downgraded the Electric Image Forum. 
and so that they put us in the archive. <laughs> oh, <laughs> speaking of hot artists. So if you don't have a certain amount of hits, though, you get darker, uh, you get discontinued and downgraded. Uh, I happen to agree with the soul. This guy is, uh, uh, okay, so somebody agrees. So I roll back. This is what, I, I'll read this to you. So, Leah, so what you're saying is, is if I called you an idiot, you would respect my opinion? That's a question. Okay. Uh, after, aren't you the moderator? You're trying to tell me that calling someone an idiot on this forum is acceptable and can be overlooked as not, as not an insult? And I insulted him when I wrote in response objecting without using any sweeping derogatory phrase to his initial unprompted disrespect and unprofessionalism. Uh, that's really twisted. <laughs> that's really, there's really something wrong there, you know? Uh, all right. Uh, is that the industry we're talking about? I would never talk to one. To one of my clients, interns, students, employees, vendors, subcontractors, colleagues, competitors, or even a dog that way. You know, not to, not, not, not to mention someone I don't even know. <laughs> okay, maybe I need to brush up on the forum rules, which I would really like to, to read that to you. But that's not CG talk I have come to respect over several years. Maybe times have changed, but I will not accept that undignified behavior. Never mind, uh, never mind that I could, I could be the next play, uh, be old, uh, uh, playwright boss or have the next hot project in Hollywood. If you are professional, you just don't do stuff like that. That's what I said. All right, read on, okay? And I'll go through you, man. Uh, okay, read on. All right, I have my own clients, and I've probably made more in a month than most of those starter film people make in a year, and I would still work for free uh, because it's a business smart. I, I did mention that I... I did it for six months, even after having a corporate office in New York. It would be a foot in the door to my own career and studio or indie project. Anyone who truly knows what in, knows about what industry knows what industry is about would know that the business you often bid with work. Create samples, especially if you don't have any established reputation or powerful client list. Anyone who is generally that uptight about putting some of their unestablished developing skills to work without immediately drawing a check probably is not someone I would hire for an internship. And I do have interns, one which I fired because of the same reason. <laughs> because of the same reason. You know, always had to have something back and never could follow instructions and always second guessing me and not following instructions, not knowing. You know, an internship has to, you have to trust the person who has been doing this for years. It's just like your parents, you know, when you're a kid, you know, you're starting up. All right, apprenticeships, anyhow, and uh, or even a team worker. I wouldn't have anybody like that. If you can't, oh, I gotta have, you know what, sometimes you lose money on a project. And if you're a part of a team that are independent, you can't, well, oh, I gotta have some money, I gotta have some money. You know, you can't be like that. You know, anyway, they would be, they would be bad for business and the difference between taking a bid home or it going overseas. We are competing every day against overseas. Okay, let me, let me finish. Because they will take your work for free and the, and the job for free. Then, uh, you know what? I'm going to decline from the CG Talk uh, mini challenge with the Frank Fazetta mini challenge. Um, I will not support this forum anymore. Uh, Reg is going to be in the challenge. I, I uh, Some of the friends that I've, 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 are taking the challenge. I'm going to decline from the challenge because um, 
this is not what's good. And so, uh, this is not what's good for me. I'm sitting here arguing and I'm trying to benefit, benefit this challenge. Uh, I'm really, really disappointed in CG Talk. They've had some changes. I guess they're loosening their rules or something like that. And so, uh, okay, let me finish. Safe to say students don't have the, the impressive client list and and to uh, and to take and I'm gonna post this and really CT talk you know it's funny that they would talk about Alex Lindsay people have helped the industry and then they 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 deal with this behavior they ban me for posting when I've never said anything uh, but, but let me finish safe to say students don't have an impressive list to gain by volunteering uh, and to volunteer on well, I'm sorry. Uh, safe to say students don't have an impressive client list. And to gain one by volunteering on a project, it's not free. It's barter. Okay? They do get something in return. Reputation, experience, and a dream come true. Uh, to think, um, to think, uh, uh, to think, to think a college student who is still in school and no industry experience, uh, reputation, in some cases, uh, in some cases, even a portfolio is, uh, not even a portfolio is a worker. I'm sorry, other thoughts are going through my head about how this, this is really ugly. I'm really disappointed in CG Talk. They used to really be better than this. It used to be a forum you could just go there and learn. Now they just come and turn it into one of those, uh, excuse my language, shit hit forum, forums that just sit up there and just, you know, you know, they, you get these kids and they just come in. It's like YouTube now, you know. <laughs> and now I'm posting on YouTube, but still, you know. Uh, okay, to think that a college student who is still in school, no industry experience, reputation, or in some cases not even a portfolio, is a worker is arrogance, which explains the name call. Okay, to even classify those student, those students as worker is arrogant unless they held professional industry jobs. They're students. They're not workers. They don't even qualify. They could go to those schools and still not be able to get a job in the industry. They're not on that level. And it is about hierarchy. You know. And you know, that's why I get, so, you know, people all try to, everybody the same. Not until you, until you put money in your hand, okay? Jesus. Forgive me. But, um, anyway. Alright. It's uh, arrogant, those jobs. Was, uh, to even classify those college students as workers is arrogant. Unless they held uh, professional industry jobs with someone who else before and were expecting to get paid. And if they were in Nolman, and they were more than likely are not professionals. First thing, because you can't do both, you know. You can't work at Nolman and still, you know, be a student at Nolman and then hold professional jobs. This was a way for them to get, the, it totally optimized their time. Anyway, I did another uh, post about how, you know, you're not, a student does not qualify. They didn't even have any responsibilities of the job. Nobody was going to lose any money, you know. No man would would be on their industry notoriety uh, to uh, would be no man would be their only industry notoriety besides a feature film credit. There's there's a difference between learning and working, and if you don't know the difference, then it is not I who is the idiot. I only said that because they she said she said that it's okay to call people idiots, all right. So uh, anyway, I still didn't call anyone in particular. I just said I'm not the one. Okay, or maybe I have have been so busy after my internship, I haven't noticed how the forum student and industries have has declined, or idiot levels has risen. Okay, I must have been a little bit. Okay, lastly, I never spoke on Alex Nancy, the student or the labor laws being uh, being right or wrong. Um, I'm going to post in my forum. I, I'm just not going to do this. 
I researched for the CG challenge. Uh, this was with CG Talk, and they're just not a group that I think I've surpassed them and I've grown out of them now. You know, since we love talk, you know, because this is not my level. I don't operate on this level. You know, students should look back and and do some reading on what a real artist, what a real artist apprenticeship, journeyman, and mastership is about. Okay. Beyond all, being unprofessional in a forum can get you blacklisted and, or labeled as someone who is hard to get along with, uh, with other people. If you call people on, on your job idiots then, or to their face, then, then don't do it. Then don't do it because you can't can get away with it in a forum. Stuff like that has always uh, has has ways of becoming uh, uh, bite has ways of coming back and bite me. And then Leah, and I, man or woman, it doesn't matter. Lee, maybe Lee, uh, except and so she posts this guy's information. Okay, and when you post on it, he has no work. <laughs> he has this like one computer graphic thing, right? So you know what? A lot of people that get in this industry who think it's easy and, and can't make money, you know, uh, and aren't getting work, and they just, just you know, they want to blame everything and everybody. And so they tick stop stabs, especially, you know, if you click on my list, you'll see my work. You know, you don't see any work, and he's not even a portfolio. He doesn't even have a portfolio, you know, you know, a CG Talk portfolio. I have one piece in my CG Talk portfolio, and it is from the professional work that I did as an intern at uh, IBC here in Buffalo, New York. So that's the only one I, uh, <laughs> in my CG talk. So God bless you. You know, Marianne Ellen, God bless her. She said, be a little bit more merciful, more graceful. She's been very sick. I wish uh, that her total healing and prayers and, and uh, going on, I, going out to her but she said be a little bit more forgiving a little bit more gracious even if you already are just step up your game so that's my point about it i am gonna let them know i don't know if it's not forgiving to actually to bow out but i'm i don't want to be a part of this challenge i uh, disaffiliate myself with cg talk um, um disaffiliate myself with cg talk I will not be posting there anymore. I will only be posting in my forum on Facebook. And also, I'm not going to, I've been a little bit scatterbrained. I've had some problems with my motion capture studio. I have to move it. I have to move the equipment. I, the day I was going down there to set it up again after the, the incidents I had, um, I am go, I'm going to have to undo that. And, oh. And then she went on and she started this petty fight about, you know, paraphrasing every little thing. And I don't have time for that. I got work to do. And I was actually trying to get work done for their Frank Mazetta forum. So I'm declining from the forum. I'm declining from the forum and I'm declining for the contest. I will not be putting anything else on CG Talk. I'm going to work alone as an artist and concentrate on my own personal efforts. I've learned everything. Thank you, Alex Lindsay. I'm actually even gonna stop buying Noman DVDs. I have bought I bought the last three, four, five, six of them. My account. I know he's doing well. Alex Lindsay don't even need the money. He's got a great school. He doesn't even need money. He was just trying to help student students, and so that seems to be a rejecting among people. And so have I. I've tried to help CG talk. I am declining from CD Shark. I will no longer be posted in the forum. I will use my YouTube site and my Facebook site and from now on or, or establish my own. I will not be a part of anybody else's forum unless it is uh, moderated civilly. Uh, this person went on and on and on, Leah, uh, uh, you know, uh, and let me read to you. Uh, I'm gonna, okay. Before posting, it says when you write at every post, it, when you go to reply, and I'm going to write now. Uh, before posting, uh, before posting, uh, uh, review the following. 
be courteous and be courteous and polite. Show respect to the opinions and feelings and feelings of others. Okay, I still have feelings. Okay, so idiots hurt. You know, it doesn't hurt my feelings, but you know, uh, you know, it's just <laughs> stupid. I wouldn't talk to anybody that calls you an idiot. You know, uh, this was that's right. Use the forum. Listen to this. <laughs> out of their own mouth use the forum use of the forum is a privilege <laughs> not a right okay engage your brain before your mouth and 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 you and, and you are responsible for the words and any harm they may cause okay uh, don't dilute the forum with irrelevant and thus unnecessary fluff uh, CG Talk is professional, moderated forum. Uh, it's a place to talk about all things related to computer graphics and call people idiots. <laughs> uh, critiques and responses to images to be constructive and for improving the quality of artwork. Post and enjoy the forum. I'm going to write them right now. associating disassociating uh, uh, my career goals to the forum because I believe because of poor judgment. That's poor judgment and executing ban. They banned <laughs> they banned me for someone. Thing. The problem is, is you're freaking geniuses. <laughs> you're genius. You know, nobody should ever do that. Everybody, if you're on a computer and you're 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 on a CG talk, you are completely disqualified from being. Well, I can't say that. You're not completely disqualified from being an idiot because obviously <laughs> idiots are are doing this. Uh, also. Declining. I had a dream that I was going to be doing this. I am also declining from the. I'm also declining from the CG talk. Frank Frazetta. Racial stars of calling African Americans C 
such as myself, African Americans such as myself, in turn, Respect her as a I respect her as a moderator. Understand this. Don't understand this. So I'm also declining. I'm also declining for this CG. Frank Presenta. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna get it. I still do the piece, but I'll do it for myself. And uh, I don't want to be a part. I wouldn't submit it. I can't submit it. Uh, validation required. Will I take up the word? Appreciate y'all understanding. I never said a harmful word. Never. bless you all so it, it says that my uh, my whenever I try to mail it it says that my posts are delayed because of you know whatever it has to be looked through through the administrator it's ridiculous you know um, you know I'm an artist and I'm gonna work and focus on concentrating alone for a while and because it seems like every time I got I could try to get involved into uh, communicating when it becomes a big huge mess and it's not that's not what art is about so God bless you thank you all um, 
I, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna cool out a lot on a lot of things and just kind of stay to myself and just really focus on my work. Uh, uh, I will still be c communicating with my Facebook community, but mainly I'm gonna focus on on the Pro 3D group. And and again, it's professional 3D. You have everybody there has a commonality, and they talk to each other very respectful, very helpful people. And when it stops being that, then I will stop being part of that, you know. But uh, I, and I don't think that's the case. But uh, God bless you all. I love you all. And maybe I'll change my mind, but I'm definitely not going to enter the CG Talk Challenge. Uh, they have a CG Talk Mini Challenge. Uh, uh, I apologize if, if anything, but I'm definitely, I, I, you know, unless I just turn around, maybe I just do the, I probably will do the female form for myself. I may not do the character. I don't know. Uh, we'll still see. We'll see.